have team coverage tonight, including more on the developments out of the Middle East. Well, we begin with CBS 2's Naveen Dhaliwal, live at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, where security was stepped up tonight. Naveen. Yeah, Marisa sure was. Security was beefed up throughout the night, and it was quite obvious. And while there were no major protests or gatherings here, the NYPD was ready, and so was law enforcement across the tri-state. Israeli basketball fans lined up for the Nets versus Israeli team Maccabi Rahanana from outside of Tel Aviv to support their team as their homeland reels from a week of attacks. We stand with Israel, we farm Israel, and we come to support the Israeli group. It's from our home. Outside the arena, security was clearly high with officers and canines on the lookout. Looks like they're prepared, hopefully. Hopefully they're overprepared. With Israeli and Palestinian rallies breaking out across the city during the week, the NYPD beefed up security, and they are now even more on alert after a former Hamas chief called for protests across the Muslim world. We are working closely with law enforcement officers, our state partners, and other cities across the country to monitor for potential threats and keep people safe. Law enforcement agencies now stepping up patrols at schools and places of worship, including the Kitty Corner Preschool at Congregation B'nai Abraham in Brooklyn Heights. Be monitored throughout the entire 24-7. The Palestinian American community in Clifton, New Jersey normally keeps their doors unlocked, but now the staff says they're buzzing people in as they're getting inappropriate phone calls. Saying really inappropriate things um, to us, and then he said, long live Israel, and then he hung up. But despite the ramped up security, Governor Hochul is assuring New Yorkers there is no credible threat. We want to reiterate to New Yorkers, there's no reason to feel afraid. No one should feel they have to alter their normal lives or their routines. And more protests are expected for tomorrow, and the NYPD has ordered all officers who are scheduled to work to arrive in uniform. We're live in downtown Brooklyn, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS 2 News. Naveen, thank you.